How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we went around all of Hyrule, or more so two, three locations, technically speaking, and we collected a couple of butterflies because these butterflies increased some of our abilities. Now we can swim faster, we can dig faster, and we can shoot faster. Not only did we do that, but we ended up making our way over to Vale Falls here, and with a gold kinstone piece that we got from the former King of Hyrule, King Gustav, from many decades ago, we ended up trading the gold kinstone piece with the source of the flow, which was this wall stone thing here. I'm trying to avoid these enemies because they keep hitting me. Let's just enter the cave and let's advance through. So, I am going to need to bust out the lantern. Also, you can see I have no more seashells and my rupees are down again, I think. Because, yes, I am addicted to the minigame. It's just like Wonder Trade and Pokemon X and Y. <sighs> good times, good times. Anyway, with our flame lantern equipped and now we can see in this cave for the one section that we needed it. Let's go ahead and move over this way. And, oh, look at that. We have some holes... Uh, well, we have some rocks next to a wall which seems to be barren, but after we place a bomb and have it go off... Can you please get off of me, flaming enemy? I think you're permanent. That kind of sucks. We have a tre- Okay, can- please? Please? Can I stop, drop, and roll? Oh, wow, that actually kind of worked, except kind of didn't because we were- Yeah, we didn't really. Anyway, 50 mysterious shells inside the treasure chest. Let's head on up and see where it takes us. Back to a room where we need the Flame Lantern. Okay, oh, hello. I don't really want to deal with you. You were in the Royal Valley and you were quite annoying. Oh, uh... Oh, no, we can't push this, actually. Oh, uh... Oh, no, 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 we can, we can. It's just a matter of avoiding the levers. Levers, can you please not? I would rather not leave it to... Can I, do I have to destroy these guys first? Come here. I'm gonna destroy all of the levers first just to see if that will help me. It should help me because after they don't spawn anymore they should leave me alone and I should be able to push this aside. Please go away. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go ahead and duplicate on the duple pads. Push this down because it's just enough for me to push it down. And oh wait. No I can't do that because I would need to go all the what? Uh, I'm just gonna exit this cave. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Treasure chest inside with, uh, <laughs> treasure chest outside, I should say, with a hundred mysterious shells. Not too bad. Oh, it was really just a, to get. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, now I can't grab, huh? Wait, uh, I, I can't grab, oh, wait a minute, wait. No. Uh, I re, oh no. I, I think I'm stuck, actually. <laughs> I'm... I'm stuck. Why did I do that? Uh... Looks like I'm gonna have to use the ocarina- I didn't want to do that. And looks like I'm gonna have to uh, No, please, equ equip the right item, please. <laughs> looks like I'm gonna have to use the ocarina to warp out of here and then come back? That's a bit ridiculous. Cause yeah, I don't think I'm able to do anything there, so uh... I'll be right back, it looks like. Note to self, never go inside of that cave again. All right, let's head out of this cave. There we go. Oh, we got magma, the, I guess. Yeah, right, magma uh, chews, I guess you could call them. And we have the beetles, of course, that are hidden. But how did you hit me from all the way over there? Please stop. Okay, I'm just going to climb the wall. I don't need to deal with these guys. Although they might actually drop the bombs down on top of my head from all the... Wow, they literally followed me all the way over here. Let's activate this wind crest. Please don't activate the bomb in the cutscene, although it is funny seeing the enemies float on top of our heads. Yes, with Ocarina of Wind, we can go do that. Okay, uh, oh, looks like we only have this cave to go into. Oh my god, there's so many things involving this area. Oh, this is gonna be a little tricky to navigate. I should have probably wrote down more notes than navigate through this area. Literally, that's on my notes. If I remember, I'll put a screenshot of what I have in my note document up that literally just says navigate through the area until we reach our next destination. Oh, man. All right. 
Let's try going... Oh, we have a couple options. We can either go... Uh, actually, yeah, let's check what's up this ladder. Let's go in here. Another cave with some more treasure, which has 100 rupees. Ooh, can I blow up... Ooh, I blew up some of the keys, not all of them. Okay, how about heading... Ooh, fairy, yes please, give me that full health back. Head down these stairs, and it leads right where we were. Okay, how about heading down these stairs? Uh, of course that seems like... Oh, I thought it was gonna be root. Oh, wait a minute, they're tricking me. This one's gonna be a rupee-like. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That first one, as soon as I saw that first one, I knew they were gonna trick me and there was gonna be a rupee-like here. How about through this cave? It leads to... a waterfall? Only, I think? Yeah, only a waterfall. Okay. So now we just have to head back up. Really? Really? You literally sat there and waited for the bomb to go off, man. Alright, head up the stairs. Let's not get stuck on the, uh, edging. Because it seemed like it looked like I... It seemed like it looked like very great usage of grammar. Alright, avoiding the... I wanted to say avoid the keys, but I per, guess I had to avoid the Helmosaur. Alright, let's go ahead and go up this mountain wall. And it looks like we actually reached our destination in not that long of time, even though I did have to go ahead and cut. Uh, you are... hidden? I guess you're playing hide-and-seek with somebody. Anyway, let's head over here, up to this whirlwind? What have we here? Some kind of vortex? Well, we seem to have hit a dead end. What shall we do from here? Well, I mean, as low you're like a parachute when we're in smaller vortexes, so a bigger vortex just means that we probably go up, right? Am I still alive? Link? What were you thinking, child? You just reaped the whirlwind, as they say. We could be dead right now. But I must admit, it did the trick. Are we in the land above the clouds? Then there must be something here that can lead us to the final element. Let's go find it. See, Ezlo, you thought things were weird. Hey, rupees. I'm down for kinstone trades. Okay, let's go ahead and trade kinstones with you. Anyway, welcome to the cloud tops. We're currently trading with Haley. And it looks like it's probably going to be a golden enemy right where we were just at. A golden tactite. Okay. Uh, I don't really need the rupees right now, so I can just leave that for later. Right here we have a couple of propellers, five propellers in fact, and a jiggling cloud. Okay, let's head over here. Ooh, wait a minute, a gold kinstone piece. Oh, well, we can't do anything with that, although it does have a fusion for us. I assume that means a golden kinstone fusion. I don't have any on me right now. But we can fuse kinstones with this woman here, Gale. She has a red kinstone fusion for us. And by trading this kinstone piece with her... The waterfall that we were just at is open. Great. <laughs> what a waste of my time. Anyway, welcome officially to the Cloud Tops. This is not really a dungeon, although it should kind of feel that way, considering we have a couple of gold kinstone pieces to find to fuse with the mysterious clouds. And we are going to be digging through cloud material. Oh, look at how fast that is. Oh my god, that's so brilliant. I love it so much. And we found a gold kinstone piece immediately. Yeah, it's... I, I don't want to say, the reason why I don't really consider it dungeon-like is because, I mean, you're not really, you're not really doing much other than fusing the kinstones. Like, there's no real other purpose. Anyway, let's head inside this golden, uh, this golden cla uh, whirlwind. I wish it was a golden whirlwind, that would actually be pretty cool looking. Uh, head inside the red whirlwind. 
make our way over here. Uh, let's drop down this hole. I don't really remember how to navigate this very well, although we did find a mysterious cloud. Do we have the proper kinstone piece? Indeed we do. Oh, look at that tornado insignia. Well, there's the golden whirlwind I was hoping for, right there on the gold kinstone. Very nice. And for fusing the golden kinstones, propellers near that jiggling cloud will activate. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's continue our adventure. Instead now, we're gonna be going in the regular old whirlwinds. Oh, the so boring whirlwinds. All right, head through here, and let's head over this way. So, let's dig through. I don't know if there's anything we're looking for specifically right here. I don't particularly think so. Let's drop down this hole and see what happens. We have a couple of sharks, or cloud piranhas I think they're officially called. Excuse me, I try to I try to be proper with the enemy names, but for the most part, enemy names, they're like, why do they exist? I know why enemy names exist, because you don't want to have the same enemy type, you know, they, there's millions of different Blarg variations in Mario, so you don't really want to deal with that. Anyway, a golden kinstone piece for defeating these cloud piranhas, and that's really it. So, let's head back up here with the Red Whirlwind. And now, let's dig back through this because we're going to be heading this way with these Whirlwinds. Okay, uh, let me make sure I'm going the correct way right here. Yes, indeed, for another Gold Kinstone piece. Okay, this is making my job a whole lot easier when I keep finding these Gold Kinstone pieces right away. Mysterious shells in this chest here, and another 50 mysterious shells, not too bad. Okay, uh, looks like we're heading on this whirlwind here. So, we have two kinstone pieces. Oh god, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can. Uh, we have two gold kinstone pieces right now that we can trade. We've already traded one of them, and since there were five propellers, that pretty much means we have two more gold kinstone pieces to go. Alright, ooh, hello! Another Mario-esque enemy in the Zelda universe. Say hello to the Zelda variant of the Lakitu. Pretty much the same, except a little beadier eyes, which is a little creepy, but hey, I don't make the rules. Uh, looks like we have the proper kinstone piece for this mysterious cloud, so let's go ahead and fuse that. And that's going to activate the second wind turbine. Very, very nice. All right, is there anything else for me here? I didn't mean to use the gust jar because I didn't remember that I didn't have the mole mitts equipped. Nothing. All right, let's head up on the red whirlwind once again. And now I think we're going to be heading... Actually, I don't know where we're going. I think we're heading back down this way? Oh, God, get into the... Where, where am I going? Oh my lord. The whirlwind was very... T get back into the... Where? Where is my controller going? I'm pressing the button. Okay. Okay. Let's go over here. Come on. Make it, make it. Please, God, make it. Okay, thank you. I do not know what was happening with my controller. It was acting very strange, and I was getting concerned. You could obviously tell in the tone of my voice that I was fearing that I was about to die. Alright, uh, we have a hole right here, so it looks like we're just going to drop down this for another Cloud Piranha Parade. Well, not really a parade, I mean, I guess, maybe? Would you... Okay, you can just fall down the edge, that's cool. I didn't really want to beat you any... Does that even count if I beat you? Will that count? The other guy did just disappear. I hope it counts. I hope it counts, does it count? Nothing. Lakitu, hi. Okay. Br uh, bust out the gust jar again. Oh, yeah, you have thunder bombs. I forgot about those. Luckily, I didn't get hit by one. All right, you have a mysterious trade, and do I have the piece? I do have the piece. Very nice. All right, let's trade yet another gold kinstone piece with the mysterious cloud to activate our third wind turbine. Very, very nice. All right, we have a couple places we can go. We can go up right here, which I didn't mean to actually go up in right away. I meant to go in the other one, but we can drop down this hole here. 
And more cloud piranhas. All right, cool. Just what the doctor ordered. All right, hit you. Okay, you can activate, hit you. Very nice. Come on, buddy, come out of the ground. Okay, you went out of the ground when I was least expecting it. There we go. Oh, uh, no, one more, one more hit. Where are you going? You are right there, perfect. Once we clear the cloud piranhas, once again, another gold kinstone piece is left behind. So let's go ahead and grab that, and let's head up this way, because there is a red vor uh, vortex swirl, whatever you want to call it after all. And inside this chest, 50 more mysterious shells. Man, lots of mysterious shells to collect. All right, we have a couple places we can go. I'm just gonna go right here first and foremost and forget to switch to my moments again, because that's great. And there was a hole exposed over here. Okay, well, now we have to deal with another cloud piranha. Hello, friend, nice to see you. Come on, hop out of the ground. There we go, excellent. Into the red vortex, whirlwind, whatever you want to call it, we go. And uh, how many gold kinstone pieces we have? I think we have the last two, correct? No, we have one, okay. So I'm gonna need to be a little careful here. Anything right here? No. Let's head down this way for another gold kinstone trade. I don't think I have the proper piece. Oh, I do have the proper piece. Okay, neat. I didn't think I had the proper one, but you know what? I'll gladly take it. That activates our fourth turbine tunnel wind thingy, which means we only have one more to go. And it looks like we're gonna be going this way, although I should probably backtrack a bit because I don't recall... Yeah, I don't remember if the other one is where I need... Oh, actually, I can't go backwards now. Oh, great. So we are gonna have... To... Oh, I think I know why. I think we're gonna have to backtrack via going this way because I think this leads back to the beginning, actually. So it looks like we're in a little pickle of trouble, but it should be okay. All right, head through here. Yeah, I think we're gonna be heading more towards back to the beginning again. All right, uh, I think I can just make my way through here. This seems like the main area, right? Can I just head down this way and everything will be fine? Yeah, I think we can just go this way. Yeah, it's looking like this is very similar. Hey, yeah, look, there's there's a golden piece there. A golden chest, I should say. But that probably does contain the golden piece we're looking for. Let's go up this whirlwind right here, because we didn't go up here yet. And this is going to lead right to the chest. And inside is the final gold kinstone piece. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that we were near it. Okay, uh, will I actually hit the whirlwind? I do hit the whirlwind. Wow, very nice. All right, head back up. We're gonna be going this way. Uh, let me get into the whirlwind just to be safe. And I want to be sure I hit the ground here. Excellent. And if I drop down right here, this should not lead back to the beginning. No, okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I get back to the start. Like legitimately, I could probably just, um. I could probably just warp to the Veil Springs thing, uh, Windcrest, and then just go up that way. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Especially because that... Yeah, especially because that, uh, waterfall's open. You know what? I'm actually gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do that. Let's warp with the Ocarina of Wind, and we're gonna go to Veil Springs, then we're gonna go and see what's in that waterfall, and then we're gonna climb back up to the Cloud Tops, and we'll see what's going on there with that final gold kinstone trade. Let's head into the waterfall and pick up our 36th piece of heart. Okay, and now we got a new heart container. Very nice. Oh man, only four more heart containers until we max out our hearts. This is actually very exciting. We are very close to the end of the game. All right, uh, we're gonna have to head up through this way. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut until I get back up to the cloud tops because yeah, I don't really need to show all of this off again, so I will see you in a moment. We are back in the top of the clouds, which means if we head over here, near this gold kinstone piece, we can trade the final one that we found.
And with that, a new giant vortex appears. That is so enticing, I'm gonna have to go in myself. But that is gonna have to wait until next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Next time, we head up on the Wind Vortex and see where it leads us. For now, thank you for watching, and until then, catch ya later.